Okay, so we are continuing with our G4 PowerBook project. This is the fourth part of the series here, and we're starting to get a lot of the acrylic parts starting to roll in. So what I'm doing now is I got my five millimeter acrylic round rod right here. And so what we have to do is we have to painstakingly cut each post here. I got one already done there. I have one back here already mounted and works very well. It's, it's going to be very secure. Now the issue that I have though is uh, I have to hold down on that on the board and then hold down on here or down here or down here so that way when I take my measurements we're level. So that way when it's flipped over the board will be sitting level. I have four mounts here that I have to cut, and this is going to go to the uh, barrel charger port and the headphone ports and the Ethernet jack, so that way it'll be nice and secure on there. And then uh, this will be at the right height, then I'll be able to put the battery in or out. So the other holes that I'm going to uh, make as far as the uh, the rod here so where I have a little tape here, there's going to be an acrylic rod here, here, here. Uh, there's going to be one here under the optical drive will come out. There will be a post there. Uh, there's going to be a post here, here. And we're going to put one there. And then probably another one there. Just so we have plenty of support. It really doesn't need that much, but don't want it moving, but especially on this end here because this is the one where we would be plugging the charger in and out. So it's coming along quite nicely. I also got the acrylic back panel that I ordered. It's way over there on the other side in a box. I have not opened it up yet, but uh, I don't want to really get into that until I get all these posts on it because then when I get all these posts mounted, then I can actually attach it to that acrylic background. And it's going to look pretty cool as we flip this over here. It looks really terrible right now, but when it's all done, it's going to look really nice. So when I flip this over, you can see the uh, two acrylic rods here. And it's going to give us plenty of clearance. So if I sit this down just like that, you can see how it's sitting on the acrylic rods. And it's going to kind of make it look like it's floating. And that's the kind of whole premise of it. So when we get the rest of the rods, it's going to be kind of like that. And it's going to look really nice. So yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. So I can hardly wait to, to get this mounted on the acrylic backer. And then that way we can uh, continue uh, mounting the screen down on it. Then we can start putting some really cool light on it. That'd be really neat. So this is just an update. I will uh, continue putting more acrylic backers on it here the little post. And like I said, I have to cut each one of these manually using that little saw that I have over there. You have to take it nice and easy. I dropped a little my little post-it note, but that's all right. So anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So I'll be back. It'll just be a few seconds for you, but I'll have some more of these mounted up on here. Well, we've made some more progress. Um, again, we had this one on, this standoff on here, but now we got this one on, that one on, and the one way over here, that's on. So we made some good progress. This equates to about an hour and a half's worth of work, but for you, it was only a few seconds. So anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some more, and we're gonna start the, putting them on this side here. We need to uh, fix this board right here because this needs to be attached as well so that way when we plug the power into it it's not going to be all wobbly gobbly and yeah so we're just going to start uh, working our way around so like i said i wanted to get pretty much the side all done we've got the back side all done and then what we do then is we'll populate a few here and a few in the center and basically those standoffs are all done and then we will be ready to mount it on the acrylic panel. Well, we've made some more progress. Uh, again, we have all these attached. We also have these two back here attached. 
we have these attached and we have this one attached so now what we have to do is we just have to do this power board here get it attached we'll get a couple little standoffs on that and then we'll put one more there for good measure and it should be nicely supported then okay well we've got all the acrylic standoff supports in place and they came out quite nicely and this is the one for the barrel jack over here and these i'm just not touching it quite yet because i'm still letting a few things set up here but anyway yeah they are all they're all done so there's three that hold this up and will support it so when we plug things in and out of it it will not move these are all done here on the side and on the back over here and there's a couple in the center too so yeah so this part is finished just have to connect a few wires up to it so our next thing is, is now we're going to be building the bracketry that the keyboard will attach to so i'm kind of doing this in sections here and so then what we'll be doing is like i said we'll be doing the bracketry for this for the keyboard and we're going to do this in modules. So I have the first module done here, which are all the supports for this. Um, I got to be real careful because I have these things taped here, so I don't want them flopping around here. But I'll try to uh, move this here so you can s see all the acrylic standoffs that we made for it there. And that's angled because that board will be supported once it's secured to the acrylic backboard but we have these all done these are all ready to go this will hold it up it will secure it and yeah so that's what we're ready for next so it's looking real good i'm very pleased how that's turning out and our sponsor is pcb way and they can do many cool things like this and they offer a variety of services like PCB prototyping, PCB assembly, flex rigid flex PCB, CNC machining, 3D printing, offering you the best value, fast turnaround, one-on-one -on -one assistance, truly a one-stop solution for PCB and assembly. So go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. And yes, please give PCBWay a try. They can do all kinds of cool stuff for you. There's no limit to what they can do. They always keep adding things to their website. So then when we get the bracket made for this, and they're gonna go on either side of the acrylic here, so that's what we're gonna start making. We'll get this bracket made for this, so we can get this keyboard attached to it. And then once we get that, part fabbed up then we will be ready to mount this on the acrylic board and then we can mount this and then then what we have to do then is uh, mount the crt on that uh, acrylic board too as well and we will have to put some little stands on that as well so it'll be at the same angle as that so yeah, so this is the uh, the fourth update on this project. It's coming along quite nicely. Again, I'm just eager to get this thing done and wrapped up because it does take a lot of room and it would be nice to, to get it inside the warm house so we can appreciate it and play with it. So next time we will be fabricating the bracketry that will support the keyboard. That'll be in part five. So until part four, I hope you like this video. You can be a Patreon for just a dollar a month. There are different tier levels. Please subscribe and click that notification bell. We're also on Twitter, MeWe, and we're also on Rumble and Odyssey. So until the next time, see you in the next video. Bye.